Shawty tryna leave with a baller Cause she know I got the dollar Every gamma tryna holla Dressed like a stunner Had a two like a gunner Music of the samba content Number one wanna. Shawty tryna leave with a baller Cause she Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy ZD Today we're gonna be reacting to uh, Oliver Tree Life Goes On Featuring Trippy Red and Ski Mask uh, That's thunder going on in the background Oliver Tree, I've heard his name being thrown around I haven't actually heard a lot of his stuff Heard snippets of the song And it's something like really a bit left field and something different and I can see it being on the charts, like it's a good song. And also it's directed by Cole Bennett. Cole Bennett is one of my favourite uh, music video directors. I think he's so colourful, cool, playful, he does a lot of cool things, right? First of all, before we go on more, uh, today is bloody little reaction sponsored by uh, ZD Records store. So I'm going to put the link in the description, buy something that you like, support my journey on the website. Um, but yeah, we've got hats, we've got shirts, we've got bloody phone cases even. If you like anything, just please buy it, support the journey, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's delve into this reaction. Oliver Tree, Life Goes On, featuring Trippy Red and Ski Mask, directed by Cole Bennett. Baby, don't play crazy, you're the devil, into the prayer, I swear I can't see how Holy shit. That's pretty, like, that's a pretty, like, it hit me straight away, like, the, the vocals are just, I haven't heard the start. Oh, I've seen the clip with the Island Boys. Oh my god. More about them later. We'll, we'll proceed. Trippy's vocals, he comes in very sharp. I thought it was going to be like a chill starting song, but he comes in very sharp. Like I said, I haven't seen any of his stuff, so this is me reacting to his, his sort of brand and his whole deal, his artistry for the first time. He looks like he's a, like he's a joker. Like a bit like me, like, you know, trying not to take himself seriously, but he goes like he's serious. So. I, th I love people like that. You got uh, Young Gravy does it pretty good, Lil Dicky, and now Oliver Tree. Baby, don't play crazy, you're the devil. Into the prayer, I swear I can't see hell in your eyes. You broke my That's the worst fucking pizza I've ever seen in my life. That's funny, that's funny. Look how many, he has like a thousand cigarettes in his mouth. Who's that dude? It was like a world record for like most cigarettes in his mouth. And he's literally like jaws dislocated like a snake. And he's got like fucking a hundred cigarettes in his mouth, lighting them at the same time. The fucking Island Boys, I hate them so much. <laughs> I love to hate him though, like I'll always check in with their shit though, like like it's, it's just one of those things I think they're becoming like somewhat like what 6 9 was, like, people just love to hate him and they will always check up on their shit Even he can't take himself serious, look at him, he's like, he's like laughing when he gets out How's that haircut though? It's a bowl cut mullet, it's like the final boss was Tiger King in a video game on steroids. Like, oh my god. Look at him. Holy shit. And the Island Boys, don't even get into them. Oh my god. I seen that they were like, they were like, they, they pressed George Janko on the Impulsive podcast and then walked off. It's like, he's like the nicest dude on earth. And like, you're pressing the nicest dude on earth. You say, I'm thugging, you know I'm thugging, right? Well, you know I'm thugging, bro, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, like, if he was thugging, and he, like, he looked like half, like, you know, like he was thugging, didn't have, like, his head didn't look like a fucking pineapple, then I might have been able to take him serious. Like, you know, his head looks like a fucking, his head actually looks like coronavirus. The red, like, fucking spores and shit coming out. If he is thugging, I'll probably get into a lot of trouble and beef with all these fucking gangsters because I'd straight up to his face say, you look like a fucking idiot. How am I supposed to take you serious when you look like coronavirus? He's out of line. But he's right. Oh yeah, he's ski. He comes ski. Yo, I love skis like hectic. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, I fucking love ski. And, and, and Trippy, I, I forgot to talk about it because there was a lot to dissect when they came out of that man. I love it when Trippy hits that like vocal when he goes, yeah, yeah. Like he gets that next fucking level of vocalism. Here comes ski. Okay. 
you taking a piss, give me your wallet, bro. Like, bro, you couldn't wait after to you rob this motherfucker to take a piss? Cole Bennett's so creative. Like, he will create these scenes that are so fucking funny. And Ski's this, yeah, like, he goes along with it. He's actually such a cool dude. Oh. As a video, fellow videographer, I love that transition. See how, like, the camera went in and he was, like, looking at the top, uh, the top left of the, of the screen. And then it cuts the next thing and he, they've, they've obviously cropped it out so and zoomed it and scaled it so it's the same proportions and he's looking in the same direction but it's a completely different background, completely different scene. But it looks so cool, I can appreciate that. Cole Bennett's a genius. What's that scene about? What the hell? I, that's really hard to read. I know. It's always ready. I can tell by the way he's holding that shotgun. If he shot that, that would go through his fucking head. Especially his little stature, his little arms. This is when I realise I'm being toxic and I try to take it back. All the trees. Yeah, he's a cool dude. I like, I like the stuff so far. Like, yeah, we gotta pick something apart, alright? I reckon that pump action would pump him. <laughs> Ski with the pizza. I think that's why they got the island boys there, like, yeah. Let me tell you my train of thinking. You know, they got all of these guns and stuff, and even when they go to use it, it doesn't even fucking work. Like, they, like, just like, like these two. Like, you know, they're acting like they thugging, but really they're just fucking coronavirus head motherfuckers, you know? That's why, yeah, I feel like that was like a little metaphor that, like, Cole Bennett little snuck in, like, you know? These guns are fake, and so are these two fucking pineapple head looking motherfuckers. More squabbles, more fights than if you settle like this. You know, live to fight another day. Paper, scissors, rock. You know? Losing three rounds in paper, scissors, rock consecutively is a huge shot to the ego. Some motherfuckers would rather get shot with a fucking pump action than lose three rounds in a row. <laughs> Source to the ear. Oh. It's cool. I like what he's going for. That I just gotta mention. He's really like. He's really trying to make it look like he's pronunciating those words. Like work all day and then I wake up. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh shit. Just like Superman, Superman's uh, kryptonite is kryptonite. Oliver Tree's kryptonite is a slice of pepperoni pizza with extra sauce. I folded them up in the freezer. I have no eyes. Yeah. Probably, probably vampire, this dude. Cole, I like how Cole Bennett, like, if he wanted, he could have someone else to edit it and he could just be like the, the director and be like, hey, I want you to do this, do that. But he's the, he edits all of his shit, and that's what I like about him. Um. Yeah, thanks guys. Uh, if you liked that uh, reaction, uh, please give us a like and subscribe. Um, that was Oliver Tree's Life Goes On, a trippy red and ski mask, directed by Cole Bennett. Um, that was cool. I like the Cole Bennett's flair and everything. It gives it a little twist, but everything is different, but you can tell that it's directed by him. Little, little funny skits, little subplots, and the payoffs at the end. Like I think that's really cool. Um, I'll have to investigate Oliver Tree more because I really like that top style of um, music. It's a bit abstract, it's a bit... It's a poppy, but it also has an element of urban R&B and rap, and, and that's what I like. I like, I love a mixture of genre, as you guys can tell by my Spotify. I love a whole bunch of mixture of things. Uh, this has been ZD on the Zan Digital channel, reacting to Oliver Tree, Life Goes On. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. I reckon they put him through the fucking wall. <laughs>